Hello grade 11s. So today we're going to be going on to something different, which is mathematical instruction. Now, the best way to understand this is for me to go through an example. So let me just explain what mathematical induction is first. What we're going to do is we are going to prove mathematically that something holds for all numbers. So for example, here, they're asking us to prove by induction that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus etc plus n is equal to this little formula over here for this expression. Now how this works, if I make n 1 for example, just 1, so that means that we've just got 1. Now if I put 1 in here, we get 1 times 1 plus 1 is 2, so that gives us 2 up at the top, divided by 2 gives us 1, which is what we expected. Now, if I make n2, we've got 1 plus 2, which gives us 3. So let's see if it works on this side. If I put 2 in here, I get 2. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, so that gives us 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and we expected that. And it'll carry on going like that throughout. Now, what we need to do is we need to prove that it's true for the next one afterwards. Okay, And that is what mathematical induction is. Now, the method that we do it, there's three steps in order to prove mathematical induction. And this is how I would like you guys to do it. So, step one, we are going to prove true for n is equal to 1. Okay. So, we've got an equation here with an expression on this side and this side. So, on the left-hand side of this equation... What will we have? If I make n1, I've just got 1. Then on the right hand side, we're going to get 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 2. 2 times 1 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. So you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Therefore, what we can see stay here now is therefore true for n is equal to 1 okay now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to use an assumption okay and I'm just going to introduce another variable okay so what we're going to do now is we're just going to assume true for n is equal to k Okay, in other words, what we're going to get here is I'm just going to change the ends to a k. So we're going to get here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus plus k, because I'm changing the end to a k, equals, change these ends to a k, k, k plus 1 all over 2. Okay. So that is an assumption that it holds true for some variable k. Now, our next step is now we're going to prove true for n is equal to k plus 1. So what we're doing here now is I'm just checking that the one afterwards holds. If the one afterwards holds, therefore it must be true for all of these numbers, okay? And what I'm going to show you here before I go through this proof is I'm going to come back to this one here from our assumption, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. What we want this number 3 to come out to be is if I change all my k's to be k plus 1, so this k here will be k plus 1. This k here will be k plus 1 plus 1, all over 2. If I can get the step 3 looking like this, then I've proved it. Okay? So let's go for it. So what is going to happen with this one now? So what I'm doing is I'm taking this one here. And all I'm doing 
is I'm going to add a k plus 1. So I'm going to have this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus da 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 plus k plus a k plus 1. So we're going to get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus k plus k plus 1 because I'm testing for the next one equals this over here this k k plus 1 over 2 now what did I do I just added a k plus 1 so I must add a k plus 1 here okay so it's exactly the same as this one I'm just adding a k plus 1 on that side and on that side all right now, grade 11s, what you're going to do is you're going to work with this side over here. So your right-hand side. All right. Now, with this right-hand side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an LCD. So we're going to get K, K plus 1. Multiply this by 2 to get the LCD. So we get plus 2, K plus 1, all over 2. Okay, up at the top here, you can see you've got two terms and we have a common factor of K plus one, that whole bracket. So I'm gonna take that out as common. So we get K plus one, and what are we left with? K plus two, all over two. Now I'm just gonna go back to this part over here this is what I'll ultimately want, okay? So you can see that I've got this k plus one over here, and there's the k plus one. Then I've got this k plus one plus one. I don't really have a k plus one plus one here, but I can split this two to be one plus one. So this will be equal to k plus one, then k plus one plus one, all over two. And that is exactly what we wanted, okay? So we have proved it. Therefore, true for all, it's just an upside down capital A, for all n an element of the natural numbers. So we have proved that to be true. Okay, let's go through another example, grade 11s. So, again, proving by mathematical induction that 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus whatever plus 2 times n will be equal to n, n plus 1. Okay, so remember, step 1, um, prove true for n is equal to 1. Okay. And what do we get there on the left hand side? If I put one in there, we get two times one is two. On the right hand side, I make n one and we get one times one plus one. Okay. And this will give us two, two times one is two. Left hand side equals right hand side. So therefore, Therefore, sorry guys, I just need to move the cat. Therefore, true for n is equal to 1. Okay, step number 2. What we're going to do is we're going to assume true for n is equal to k. Alright, so that means we're going to just change our n's to a k. So we get 2 plus 4 plus 6, plus 8, plus, plus 2k equals k, k plus 1. Okay? And that's our assumption. Then step 3, we are going to prove true for n is equal to k plus 1. Now, just like with the previous example, I'm going to work with this right hand side because I want to see what I need to get to. Remember, change all your k's to k plus 1. So this k here will be a k plus 1. And inside this bracket here, we'll get a k plus 1 plus 1. Okay, 
So remember, ultimately with the step three, we wanna try and get to this. If we can get to that, then we've proved it. Okay, so I'm going to work with this over here and we get two plus four plus six plus eight plus 2K plus two K plus one. Okay, because we're just testing for the next one. And this will be equal to this side, which is K, K plus one. And what did we add to this side? To keep it balanced, we added this two K plus one. So that must be added onto the side as well. So two K plus one. Let's close my bracket there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work with this right hand side. So if I just write this out, so we got k, k plus 1, plus 2, k plus 1. Okay, so what I can see here is I have got this common bracket of k plus 1. Let's take it out as a common factor. So we get k plus 1 and then k plus 2, which is what we have left over. Now, if we go back to see what we want, k plus 1, k plus 1, we've got it. k plus 1 plus 1. We don't really have that, but what I can do is I can split that 2 to be a plus 1 plus 1. So we get here k plus 1, k plus 1 plus 1, and that will give me my 2. And that is exactly what we have here, and I have proved it, okay? So therefore, true for all n an element of the natural numbers. All right, example three, or oh, B, sorry. Example two, B. Again, proved by mathematical induction that five plus 25 plus 125 plus so on plus five n is equal to five times five to the n minus one all over four. So the first thing that we do is we prove true for n is equal to one. Okay, so step one, prove true for n is equal to one. Okay, so on the left hand side, what do we have? Five times one is five. On the right hand side, if I make n one, we're going to get five, five to the one, I make that n one, minus one all over four. Okay, so five to the one is five, minus one is four, the fours will cancel and you're left with five. So left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, therefore, true for n is equal to one. Okay, step two, our assumption, assume true for n is equal to k all right so i'm just going to make my ends a k so what do we get here 5 plus 25 plus 125 plus plus 5k equals 5 5 to the k minus 1 all over 4 okay step 3 now we have to prove true for the next one so prove true for n is equal to k plus 1. All right, so what are we going to do here? I'm just going to make um, that a k plus 1. Um, grade 11s, just one thing. I need to make this a power, I see. So that's 5 to the n, and this would be 5 to the k. All right, not multiplied. So let's go into this. So we get here five plus five squared plus five cubed. So I'm, all I'm doing is just prime factorizing these. Just makes my life easier. Plus, you don't have to do that. You can leave it as those numbers. And then we get this five K, which is that. Now, what am I going to do is I'm going to add the next one after that. So we get five plus five K plus one. Okay, the one afterwards from here is equal to 5, 5k five, five minus 1 
over four, which is this. And what did I do to this side? I just added this one here. So this is plus five K plus one. Okay. Right, so we're gonna work with this right hand side. Right, for this right hand side, I'm just gonna get the LCD, so multiply up by four, and we and I'm going to multiply the five in as well. So we get here five times five K minus five. This one here will give me plus four times five K plus one. So all I did there was just miss a few steps. Okay, I just distributed that in and an LCD. All over four. Now, what do we need to get this thing to look like? So I'm gonna come back to our thing over here and all I do is I make my K, K plus one. So five, and if I just distribute in as well. So that'll give me times five K plus one. And the reason why I'm distributing is because we distributed this one. Then that'll give us minus five over four. So basically I need to make this thing look like that. All right. So what have we got here? So that and that will give me five K plus one. Because if the bases are the same, you add the exponents. Okay, so we get here 5k plus 1. Then I've got this plus 4 times 5k plus 1 minus 5. All over 4. Now these two here I can add together because this is 1 times 5k plus 1. This one is plus 4 times 5k plus 1. So 1 plus 4 gives me 5 times 5k plus 1 minus 5 all over 4. Now that is exactly what we wanted over here. So therefore true for all n an element of the natural numbers. Okay, so grade 11s, what I would like you to do from the exercise is I just want you to do number one. So this can be your homework. Let me put it over here. Homework. You're going to do numbers one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's for now. All right, the other ones we will go through on Wednesday. All right, thanks, Grady Levins.